First step for disassembly is to remove the front cowling. Put the pump on the back side and remove the three six millimeter hex bolts that hold the cowling in place. To refine and remove the cowling, take a crescent wrench and remove the exhaust port, which is a one quarter inch MPT fitting. Then the cowling should lift off and expose the pump scroll head. You can remove the fan connection and set this aside. To remove the pump scroll head, Take a four millimeter Allen wrench and remove the four hex bolts holding it in place. Then you lift off the scroll set, turn it around, and there you have the two mating scroll sets and their tip seals. To remove the tip seal, carefully take a small screwdriver and pry up the end of the tip seal and unwind it from the groove that it holds within the scroll set. And set it aside, noting which side the tip seal came from. This is from the side that belongs with the pump. Do the same to the stationary seal here. set aside. Looking at this scroll you can see a small hole at the root of this scroll here. That's where the gas ballast allows a little bit of atmospheric air to be brought in in the final stage of compression so that we can elevate the temperature of the pump and keep those solid from forming inside the pump and get them through to the exhaust. This is the exhaust port. This hole here is the exhaust port that allows the gases to exit to the exhaust. We use 100% gray neutral spirits or Everclear or white lightning as a solvent to clean and we use a little piece of emery cloth, again with our wooden dowel, to go in and scrub the root of the scroll to remove any buildup. This is the most important part of the cleaning process to remove as much as you can, especially where the wall meets the root. Get anything in that corner out.
this pump is relatively clean. The pump is staying several hundred hours of operation. Will probably require quite a bit of elbow grease to get this pump clean as it needs to be before reassembly. We do the same thing with this rotating scroll. First, with the lint-free cloth to get the major debris, loose debris, out of the pump. And then with the scotch bright, scrubbing down in the corners to make sure that those scroll roots are clean and clear of debris so that the tip seals have a good surface to seat on to give you good base pressure. The O-ring outside of the pump here should also be removed and cleaned. And when replacing it, start at the bottom of the pump to make sure that it is seated properly on the shoulder of the O-ring groove and does not drop inside the o-ring groove that can then be cut when we reassemble the pump. Okay, good. We use the same procedure to clean the tip seals themselves. Use the Everclear, pour it onto the rag, the lint-free cloth, and clean the tip seals of as much debris as you can. The farther down to the inside of the pump, the more you'll feel buildup of debris on the tip seals. The Everclear does a good job of removing this. Just run that cloth along the tip seal and you'll feel it's smoothing out as the debris is removed. Using a very small wooden dowel or a small screwdriver covered by the lint-free cloth, run the cloth through the tip seal groove itself to clean any debris out there that will prevent the seal from seating correctly. Take care to make sure you do not contact the screwdriver metal to metal with the pump. See some debris that's come loose here. We do the same thing with the stationary scroll. See how much we're able to remove from that tip seal groove.
Once we have completed the cleaning process using the Everclear, we want to blow out as much of it. Same here. Let me get your background dirty. And then for final clean, using a clean lint free cloth, we move away from the moonshine and use isopropyl alcohol. To do a final clean to remove any residue that was left by the Everclear. And then again, blow out the excess of the pump alcohol. Then allow the pump to sit for about a half an hour so that the alcohol can evaporate and you'll have a clean pump. We'll start the reassembly of the pump by re reinstalling the tip seals. You'll see here a little mark where we start the insertion. This allows enough on the end for thermal expansion as the tip pump gets hot and the tip seals grow, they can expand into this area. Just feed the tip seal into this slot and run your thumb along it to hold it in. The serial number goes to the bottom of the pump. You'll see how the scrolls match up. Insert that on. Add the four flex bolts. And tighten. Now we'll replace the cowling 
first by reconnecting the external fan. And tightening the three six millimeter hex bolts that hold the cowling in place. Next, we replace the exhaust port. And the pump is now ready to operate.